of September 2013. We started at the Benevolent Society by Toys Meadows um, here in Spanish Town because I was living in the area at the time and uh, I was given the go ahead to start the school within the Benevolent Society complex. We started with three students. We spent one year there and then we relocated to our current address, which is in Willowdean. And we have been here for the past six years. Growing up, as long as I can remember, I have a passion for teaching and for working with children, um, not just the small ones, but right through teaching. I, I, I just love the feel and the reward it gave when I, I teach a child and see that child move from point A to B. And then the family reaction is awesome. When he initially got interviewed, when assessed, he couldn't do anything pretty much. So that was very traumatizing for me. Now I can see where he has improved. He has been doing much better, where he's following more directions. Before he wasn't doing anything. It was when you called him, he wasn't looking at you. So I was wondering if he was deaf, if he wasn't here, that sort of thing. Then they told me that he's autistic, so I found that out when he was two years uh, closer to three. A journey is, I would say, a slow learner. I haven't really gotten a diagnosis per se, but he is slow as in he's not performing at the level that he is supposed to be because he's nine and he's not performing at that level academically. His speech was delayed and I noticed that something was wrong there. I was, I was wondering why he wasn't talking because he was like two plus going on three and he was just saying like one, one word. So I was like, something is wrong there. So I took him to the pediatrician and she advised me to send him to school. That helped because he started talking more fluent but then academically he wasn't getting it so the basic school that he was at um, advised me to get him assessed they told me that i would have to send him to a special needs school because he wouldn't function in a normal classroom first i sent him to another school but i wasn't getting any results mm -hmm. so someone told me about here about me small i started sending him here and I can tell you from I started I have no regrets he has improved significantly I mean when I sent him here he could hardly spell his name he wasn't writing or anything like that no he is writing he's even reading now so I've seen significant improvement since he's still not where he's supposed to be but uh, he's not where he was since COVID things degraded rapidly where the premises where we're currently at, we normally pay our rent on a termly basis. So for example, if school had opened back for April, we would have paid for January, February, March, April. But school did not reopen, and so we have all those amenities um, still outstanding. And as long as we occupy the space still, it's growing. So we have been given notice to relocate in light of the condition of the premises and all of that. Um, they said they want to fix, so we have to relocate. So we have to be um, trying to focus on clearing what is good, plus getting some funds to move forward. And that's where the challenge stepped in, because there's really nothing in the kitty. And so that's why we have created this GoFundMe page to see we can have others on board to help us. We really don't want to close the institution. Parents really appreciate us and what we try to do. I've come this far after seven years to just give it up like that and just close the doors. I wanted somebody who understand that he's special, he needs this help. So, so far I have seen improvement. I have seen her passion of that that's why Chaz keeps coming because she has the passion for it and when there's an improvement you she calls and she says work on this and it just goes back to her passion because if then I get a homework and I don't do it because sometimes you really get overwhelmed 
She can tell me that, Auntie Charmaine, you did not do the homework, you know, you did not work with Chaz. So because of that, no, I tried to give an extra push because honestly, I don't want her to say I'm not doing my part when she's giving all she got. I don't know where I would turn now if, this, if these doors were to be closed because I'm telling you, before, even before I, um, I sent him here, I was having problems getting him into school. It is very, very um, stressful thinking about it. And, and because the help that he has gotten here, I wouldn't want him to move him because I, I'm, I'm afraid that he's going to go back. Instead of improving, he's going to go back and I don't want that to happen. So we are roughly looking at three months to wrap up, raising the funds, getting the place, relocating, set cleaning, ready for school in September. Why should you donate? You are donating to a worthy cause. What is that worthy cause? That worthy cause is basically to help Faith Education Center keep on doing what we are doing. And so we are urging you, we are begging your support to help keep us and it's all for the good of these children, our special needs children. We want to continue. Not care how small the numbers are, I want to continue working with them. I always say, if it's even one, the show goes on. The show goes on. If it's even one child, my show goes on. So it's not only about monetary gain, it's for the love of it.